almost made it home without getting into traffic. I've got got to Calhoun, which is like about 15 to 20 minutes maybe from where I get off the interstate. And then I think they may be doing road work. I mean, luckily it hasn't stopped. It's been moving the whole time, but it's just been like creeping along like right now going about 10 miles an hour. But that's probably about the fastest I have gone this whole entire time. So uh, like I said, I guess it's not too bad that I made it this far with, without any traffic issues. Oh, so I've only been home for oh, less than an hour. It was like a little after 10, 15 when I got home and I've already put a load of clothes in the washer. I'm cooking me some bacon for today and tomorrow. I've got eggs that I'm gonna scramble and I also put um, chicken with cream and mushroom soup in my crock pot for supper so it can cook and get done before supper time. But right now my focus is this because I'm hungry. I ate a granola bar before I left Atlanta but I am still very hungry, so I'm gonna try and get this finished and eat it. So here's the finished product for my extremely late breakfast. I have um, bacon and eggs and orange juice. Um, I was gonna fix toast too, but or, or, or pancakes, but I just lost the motivation. I figured this was good enough. It's just gotta hold me over till supper and there's my cat. She likes to beg for bacon because she likes bacon. I am working with my heat press press again. Um, I had to fix some bows um, for the lady that teaches the Zumba class that I go to. Her daughter's cheerleading squad was wanting some. So I am back at it again. The bows are a little bit harder because I don't want to like um, crush the whole bow. So I have to kind of, when I'm pressing it, I can't do this with one hand or I'd show you, but I have to like put this on here like this and cover it with my paper and pull the um, top of the press down. So this is the finished product. It turns out, it turned out fairly well. Um, I did like about, I want to say eight or ten of them for her. I can't remember, but um, like I said, they, they came out fairly well. I wasn't sure how that um, nylon ribbon would hold up. I guess it's nylon anyway, but the, the ribbon would hold up under the amount of heat you have to use to put this vinyl on. But it did fair, It did really well. It didn't melt. I was kind of afraid. She had gave me one a few weeks ago to try out just to see, and I was afraid it would melt the ribbon, but it didn't. So <laughs> Here's my crock pot chicken and rice that I started out this morning. It's really, really easy. I just put on the chicken. I usually like to put about a pound in there, but I don't think there was quite a pound this time. It was one large chicken breast and then the cream and mushroom soup, and I cook it for a couple hours. And then um, if I'm using fresh mushrooms, I'll go ahead and dump them in a couple hours later so they'll have time to get fully cooked because I like them better cooked, uh, cooked well. So um, I did that a little bit later this afternoon. If I'm using just a can of mushrooms and I just dump them in long enough to get hot, then I boil um, two boil in a bag brown rice and I dumped them in there as well. So then just um, stir them all together and you have this great chicken and rice. Here's the total finished product of my supper. I have my chicken with mushrooms and rice and those are all gotten potatoes and it was just a box. But I love them. I think they're Betty Crocker maybe. I can't remember but they're really quick and easy. And I also cooked a couple of boiled eggs, um, last minute decision, cause I, but I really like boiled eggs. So that is my meal and it's pretty quick and easy, but I'm getting hungry now. Hey everybody, I just wanted to do a quick summary of the day. It has been a really long day. Um, I felt all day like it should be later than it really was and probably because I drove back from Atlanta this morning and I was gonna like take a nap and rest and stuff, on the, but I never, I never really did. I, I did get quite a few things done. I got like, I, I did a couple loads of laundry. I cooked, I uh, did a couple of the craft projects that I needed to get done. I didn't get them all done because I was just too tired, but I still got quite a bit of stuff done. Um, but anyway, uh, it, it's just been a really long day. So I am about to throw this video together and I am going to turn in and hopefully sleep well tonight since I didn't sleep very good last night either. But anyway, I hope you guys have had a great day and I will catch up with you tomorrow. Bye.